Hey y'all, <clears throat> so today is free comic book day. We have a lucky visitor to the dude abode. His name is Steve Ringenberg, and he's a good friend of mine that's helping me out with uh, a lot of stuff that uh, I'm not good enough to do on my own. And <clears throat> we're gonna be having some fun after this, probably watching some Tarzan movie and ordering a pizza, which is a typical guy thing to do. And if the, that uh, essential worker can uh, mail us uh, by, by way of FedEx, six pack that would go along good with that too um, <clears throat> we're doing uh, drawings uh, that are being given away to people who order something online until midnight tonight tonight being uh, being Saturday uh, <clears throat> on free comic book day which is not taking place because of the, the virus here so this is a virtual way of us uh, celebrating that that uh, that that celebrated occasion at home here in the uh, in the studio of the dude here. I'm Steve Rude. Welcome back. <clears throat> and we're going to be doing another giveaway here. Uh, this is going to be a watercolor. I wanted to do some variety with things that I'm I'm doing here uh, to give away for the giveaways. And this is going to be a watercolor. So this is going to uh, you know take a little more time than some of the drawings I started off doing. The first one being Omac, Jack Kirby character from the 1970s. The second being uh, something that'll get me in trouble with YouTube, which is a naked lady that was done in a shade board with black pencil and white pencil. And this is going to be, uh, fortunately, a closed female um, of Rita Hayworth. And we'll be getting around to that in a moment here. A um, <clears throat> couple things to bring up here. Um, <clears throat> you all know about the Nexus newspaper strip. This is something we released a couple years back that you guys were very much in support of. I've been wanting to revive the uh, Sunday newspaper adventure strip for some time now. And you can see that this thing is actually the size of this Sunday newspaper, which is how we wanted to display this thing. <clears throat> it was entirely financed by me, uh, Steve Rude the Dude, and <clears throat> this is eventually going to be collected into uh, a huge 200-page uh, uh, hardcover volume called The Coming of Gormando. And that's the name of the... Uh, the story here that features all the entire 100 pages of these newspaper strips featuring new material and nexus. So we're really going to be excited about that and see how, uh, how big the, the kind of fan support we can get off that. <clears throat> it being the, the, new, uh, the newest nexus material in several years. So we're looking forward to that. <clears throat> also on the back, if you ordered this newspaper right here, we've got a slot right here to do an open sketch from me. And to give you an idea of what these sketches look like, we'll put this one down and we'll, we'll lift this one up right here. This is the kind of drawings that I've done for people that uh, are in a request of the sketch. This looks like a Kirby character to me. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that I'm doing there uh, for those who order the newspaper. Uh, since it is free comic book day, um, we want to give you know the usual shout out to the people that are still uh, doing their jobs, uh, whereas most people are not doing their jobs. Uh, I work at home, so I'm always doing my job. But there's a lot of people out there that are that are going above and beyond, and we uh, I think we all know who those are. Uh, we have a sketchbook coming up, the first sketchbook in five years. We're gonna take all the work that we've done, uh, that I've done in the last five years, pack it into one oversized book, and. <clears throat> This is going to be on the cover. We actually have, um, uh, my good man, would you be so good as to grab the original painting over there, Wonder Woman? Sure. Bring it over here, <clears throat> and we're going to show the original painting uh, that graces the cover of our new sketchbook. There you go. This is the actual size of the piece right here. This is a full uh, 30 by something. The original painting that's uh, going to be going on the sketchbook cover. It's done in watercolor. The sand and, in the back is probably 18 by 20. And well, some 20 pink watercolor. So uh, there you go. That's that's what the original looks like. And this is what the cover of the book is going to look like. So look for that coming up soon. Uh, however, like, I think I, I might already mention this, but we're doing for free comic book day. One of the ways we're celebrating it is to make me money. And. Uh, so whoever, whoever makes any orders on the various things that we have for sale here, one of them being this, uh, something I featured last time, which is the, 
Mexis Chronicles hardcover right here. This is a book that features all the stuff that's that I normally do. Uh, a lot of extra, a lot of pencil stuff and a lot of ink stuff. And on some occasions, you'll see pencils next to inks. This is um, something that might be of interest to people that are starting down in the field to see how the uh, translation goes from pencil to ink. So this is going to be <clears throat> something that's for sale <clears throat> that uh, we're hoping you have an interest in. So let's get into uh, the drawing of Rita Hayworth here, okay? Like I said, this is going to be watercolor, so let me open up my watercolors. <clears throat> this is my watercolor palette. And let's just throw ourselves into it right here. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a demo of how I I go about doing my watercolors. So let's see how I'm going to do this. We're working from black and white copy right here of Rita. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, wash in some very some very light flesh tones here. Rita is of the pink variety, so we're going to start off with a a wash of uh, color all over her face, just like that. <clears throat> this is how I do all. Start off with all my color illustrations. Um, I'm not one of these guys that's uh, super concerned about um, going over the lines. I just don't care. <laughs> so I just, I just, I just blast away. This kind of fits my personality. Someone says hi, Steve. The Why I Love Comics group is here. The Why I Love Comics group is here. Well, I don't know if I've met you guys, but uh, it's nice to meet nice to meet anyone who loves comics. And someone else says hi. It's Barry. You did me a Gene Simmons of Kiss and Artist Emotion. Thanks for the great sell. And I'm from Kentucky, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it's nice to know where these people are, are, are writing in from all over the U.S. And, and I think. In a lot, in a lot of cases, since we have the internet now, it's it's the, the world itself. Yep. Rita's hair is dark. Let's give her some dark hair. So that's going to be black and blue, <clears throat> not necessarily in that order. You can see the brush I'm using here is a fairly good sized brush. What is this? Uh, this is a number ten, simply Simmons brush. I like to work with big brushes. And I like to work broadly. Not finicky and not uh, not nit nitpicky. I just like to blast in there and just and just go for it. Again, this is a personality trait that fits me, so uh, I advise you all to learn your personality as well as you can and uh, and take it from there. Still waiting to hear back from that beer guy. Someone wrote in uh, <laughs> earlier on <clears throat> and mentioned he was an essential worker delivering beer out there for all the guys desperately in need of it. Well, we all know how desperately in need of it that we are. Personally, I'm a root beer guy, so <clears throat> anyone who's, uh, who's got uh, the goods in the root beer, you feel free to write in and offer me a deal. Um, I'm sure we can work out an amicable trade here, both to our mutual satisfaction. So you can see Rita come into life here. <clears throat> this is my little sheet right here. I don't know what else to call it, but you basically just, uh, you know, uh, you check the you check the color of the paint that you that you're going to put on before you put it on. Oh, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> let's give Rita a dark background here. That's the biggest brush we can use for a, a background. And what color are we going to make it? How about if we use a kind of a greenish, greenish blue background? <clears throat> We're going to dip it in a lot of water here. We just got uh, this, uh, this very light swimsuit on, so we're going to work around this right here. Kind of a uh, silhouette here <clears throat> with color. Mm -hmm. We just got very small hips. Someone says hello from Buffalo, New York. Hope you can visit again. Buffalo, New York. Oh, I had a great time there. I was invited up for a show there and uh, someplace I've never been. We ended up visiting Niagara and uh, <clears throat> seeing the, the U.S. and Canadian side of things. That was a good time. It was a good time. And uh, Barry, once again, says, I love it. I was always 
an attention to detail guy first. Love your style. And somebody else's greetings from Mexico, Mr. Rood. From Mexico. Si, senor. Hola. De nada. Um, I think most of you know what I call cats. Uh, I call them dicks. Uh, them being good for nothing, good for dick. Uh, but I am told that the, the dicks in Spain actually have a Spanish accent. And this can be confirmed by the fact that I, uh, I actually visited uh, Spain a couple times. And uh, when you hear the dicks out there, dicker um they very clearly um, sound like Speedy Gonzales. This is a, a half inch brush right here. It's a silver brush. I like these things. <clears throat> they absorb, they take in a lot of water and uh, and they're they're very soft. <clears throat> so there's there's Rita right there with her uh, <clears throat> all her watercolor glory right here. Not wet this paper first. <clears throat> Sometimes you want to work wet and wet. Not always, though. Mike Cole says, Hey, dude, hi from Pennsylvania. Mike who? Cole. Mike Cole? Yes. Um, well, that figures. He's calling from Cole Country, so I guess the name. That last name kind of figures. And Barry says, LOL, I got cats and dogs living together. You might like them. They think they are dogs. <laughs> that was worthless days. Okay. Michael <laughs> Jacobson says, wow, that looks great. You are a true talent. Well, I'm definitely true because I'm, I'm coming to you live. But uh, talent, we try we try our best. <laughs> Time for the hair dryer. Let me know if you can still hear me here. Full hard. <clears throat> Fullhard wants to make a cameo here and pull this job at his job. Shop. Hello, Shab. This is Shab at his job, otherwise known as Shab. Uh, uh, <coughs> and these two blowhards here are my, uh, uh, my true, as long as I live companions here. <coughs> Everyone knows about the loyal to the blowhards. So hard here is actually a, uh, uh, well, the, I call them blowhards because the original um, dog that I had, the beagle, was uh, the blowhard. So that tough, but she really wasn't. <clears throat> so the name stuck, and now um, Chloe here became Clohard or Flowhard. <laughs> Two shout outs from Northern Ireland and Brazil. No kidding. Uh, Brazil, I, th I think they speak Brazilian there. It was that Portuguese, I think. Portuguese. Portuguese here, okay, the man of the man of the world here just confirmed that. <laughs> Barry wants to know how many dogs you got. I have two. <clears throat> yeah. Two dogs, two cats, a ton of fish. Oh, someone else says greetings from Spain. Yes, we had different accent than people in Latin America. I hope that you can come back to Spain sometime. Once the world has gone back to normal, and uh, someone else says, love your exploration of the classics and the way you bring the best of the past to the present. Yeah, that's nice. We have a classic art fan here that uh, is always nice to hear from. My roots, as most people know, came from, uh, from illustrators, vintage illustrators from the war years. And uh, those are the guys that I revere the most. And that, in fact, was uh, the area where uh, lovely Rita uh, came from here. <clears throat> this is a very small face. I don't like growing <clears throat> faces this small right here. Um, but we're going to do our best to work with this very small size. Normally I would work um, bigger than this right here. It's very hard to get this, this likeness down here <clears throat> in such a small scale. But we do endeavor to try here to get the dude household here, so <clears throat> try we will. These are the dark areas. They're only dark because um, they're not in the light. Literally, they're shadows. This is a cast shadow for her nose. Someone wants me to shoot over your shoulder instead yeah. of from the side. So I will move. <clears throat> 
But see, we have this Chloe in the way. So Chloe, he's gonna have to move so I can shoot over Dad's shoulder. This is the kind of situation where one bad stroke and uh, really goes from um, from pretty to less so. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess she's got um, blue eyes. One Star Trek question, what's your favorite episode? Uh, my favorite episode of Star Trek, and he's obviously referring to the original, uh, which to me is, um, you know, the one I grew up on, and the one I will always uh, look to is being the real version. Uh, <clears throat> ah, God. Um, let me think on that one. Well, someone from the Netherlands wants to know... What were your thoughts about the Efteling when you met Guido, when you went with Guido when you were in the Netherlands? Oh, Guido in the Netherlands. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I, you know, I, what I remember is that uh, this was in uh, Breda, Breda in the Netherlands. That was close to Amsterdam. And I remember the little town of Breda feeling like it was... Uh, is where uh, a uh, the Andy Griffith show in a foreign land should have been shot. It felt like it felt like uh, like Mayberry. It was just very very quaint and fun, and I had a great time there. Fans were very very nice. I remember going into this comic book shop, and a lot of these kids were hang, kind of hanging out, uh, doing their uh, their gaming thing. And I just I just remember you know like I always do. I I walk over, say hi. Uh, sit down and uh, see what they're up to, what they're drawing. You know, I draw with them, not wanting to be away from the drawing board that that uh, <clears throat> that long. Yeah. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. But well, they want to know what you thought of Efteling, the theme park that we went to. The theme park. Yeah. Well, that was part of the charm of that. I remember seeing uh, a lot of um, a lot of bunnies running around there. Uh, Flowheart is a real fan of bunnies, aren't you? Being a beagle. How's Rita turning out here? Just the littlest things will will uh, will make her come alive here. And again, this is a very small scale, uh, uh, a little too small for me. But uh, this is what we're going to be dem demonstrating today. So <clears throat> let's give her some some cheek color. I was like uh, giving girls some cheek color. <clears throat> This is a, a watercolor uh, portrait here. And as you can see, <clears throat> I'm doing my best to uh, capture her likeness. <clears throat> These are soft edges right here on the side of her face. Yeah, you got a comment, man, her face is so beautiful, love it. <clears throat> oh good, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you like her face. And Diana likes it also. Oh good. My good friend Diana Lito, a fellow artist and comic book uh, artist creator, Diana Lito is uh, apparently giving the thumbs up for Rita here. She's a pinup artist, and uh, we have a lot of fun exchanging emails. Someone says, "Lovely Rita, meter maid." Yeah, she's a lovely Rita. <clears throat> well, all guys are interested in, in doing their uh, painting girls. Steve? Just, just ask Dave Stevens, yeah. If I can horn in here for a second. I looked it up, Rita Hayworth had brown eyes. Brown eyes? Yeah, she had a uh, Hispanic heritage. Aha. Uh -huh. That was gonna be my second guess. Original name, Margarita Cancino. Uh, I think most of us uh, are well acquainted with that fact, aren't we? Okay. I can't see the picture very well because it's tiny, but I'm gonna assume that Allison is a girl. And she says, that's coming up beautifully. Do you have a favorite pinup or model that you like to draw from? Uh, yeah. Um, when I met her, uh, the girl I married, Princess Gino Ginelli, uh, <clears throat> and uh, nowadays um, I, I paint, I, 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 I like to use Marilyn Monroe for a lot of the, the Sunder Peel paintings that I do. I will pick some, some nice reference that Sunday has done. 
uh, that, that I'm going to be painting with cinder peel and um, and adapt it, adapt the reference. I wonder if Rita minds if I give her blue eyes. Well, she does. She's beyond caring. <clears throat> she no longer has the earthly concerns that most people of us have. That's right. She's dancing in heaven with Fred Astaire, I hope. Someone says, cheers from Chilean living in Canada. I met Steve when he was in Chile for the Comic-Con 2016. Yeah, Chile. Excellent. Hope Had a good when time he there. Is in, I hope these messages get cut off. I hope when he's in Chile again someday from the organization, take him out for lunch. Yeah, that Definitely. Nice. We're always good for lunch. <clears throat> We're going to add some tones here that I can't really see in the reference, but uh, uh, this is why it's important to know anatomy. So I'm going to try to extrapolate here and put a few tones in here. This is actually a brush, uh, a harder bristle brush that I use for scrubbing. So whenever I make mistakes, which of course is hardly ever, I go in here and just kind of um, do the erasing number with this stiffer brush right here. Uh, somebody named Luciano. Hey, Steve, we met in Montreal a couple years ago. I worked for Neil Adams. <clears throat> I still remember how kind you were to me. And still appreciate to this day the time you took to speak to me and to give feedback on my art. I hope you and you are doing well. All the best. Yeah, how nice. See, this is this is proof positive of the the incredible uh, moral decency of the uh, the fans of, uh, of uh, the dude here, uh, for which I'm very very lucky to have. Anyone who has fans as nice as I do um, looks at that as a, a special a special moment of <clears throat> of uh, good fortune. Yeah, and Barry says I had better win this one. Well, I guess that's up to Chloe, isn't it? Yeah, that's up to Flowhard. Whoever's going to be winning this drawing is going to have to go through the paws of uh, Chloe the Flowhard. As she she is normally the one that picks the uh, the winner. Oh, let's see here. <clears throat> let's uh, let's do the legs here, and then we're gonna the last thing we're gonna do is is we're gonna have some fun. Uh, doing the, the uh, pattern on her, on her swimsuit here. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's start by doing this right here. We'll get our, we'll get our main tones in here. Ruben says, who's the favorite comic villain to draw? Uh, boy, a villain. I don't, you know, I can't really say that I have uh, a favorite bad guy. <clears throat> This is how we're going to smooth the tones out here. A lot of times this is this is best done uh, uh, as a wet and wet kind of thing, but um, you know, being the, the kind of uh, this th paint, throw on the paint kind of a guy that I am, we're not going to sweat that too much. Okay. <clears throat> Give me some very nice comments in here. So very says stick his name to a milk biscuit. <laughs> Somebody wants to make sure he wins this drawing here, right here, by uh, sticking a milk bone in the uh, in the, uh, the name bucket here. We're going to reinforce this tone right here with a darker color. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing later on here is we're going to be doing a drawing from a bucket. Um, this constitutes the Steve Rude bucket list, for which we're going to going to. Uh, uh, we're going to be picking a lucky winner that's going to receive this thing, provided they are, they are somebody who uh, is ordering something sometime today to keep the, uh, the dude household, that includes Flo Hart and Schaub, uh, financially solvent for at least another day. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Dr painting Rita Hayworth... Uh, um, can you go wrong with something like that? No, you really can't. <clears throat> She's got the prettiest eyes. Well, you know, we're talking about a classic Hollywood star here, so... <clears throat> Let's do some embellishment on her eyes here. Uh, just a little bit of softness around here. 
Oh, yeah. someone wants to know was the bucket list updated? Yes, it was. Yeah, Princess Gino here doing the camera duties here confirms that the bucket list was updated based on the orders that just came in recently right here. So Yeah, we updated it about <laughs> five minutes before he started and we'll update it again for three o'clock and well actually he might end up going into three o'clock. No. Three o'clock and then four o'clock and then we'll do one final one tomorrow. So you have three more chances. So there you go guys. Though that's gonna be the schedule that we're looking at here. Um already before midnight tonight. And uh, sounds like a KTAL ad. Uh, and then you'll be eligible to uh, to win the, uh, the various paintings and other pieces of art that I'm, I'm doing here. You yeah, can so see me switching between brushes right here. I'm gonna get you. Mm -hmm. I'm adding tones in here just based on what I know about uh, uh, the female facial structure <clears throat> that I think are just gonna um, help out Rita here. Oh, it's Flowheart again, okay. Flowheart's getting anxious to give away this uh, this Rita painting here. Yeah, so someone says, do you still do Toth warm-ups? Love your Hanna-Barbera heroes. And Barry says, looking forward to the next sketchbook, by the way. Uh, Toth warm-ups. Uh, what he's talking about is doing the warm-ups according to uh, uh, some of the work of Alex Toth. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much warm up with anything that I feel like doing it uh, uh, in the morning here. It's kind of like um, Jack Lane doing morning calisthenics. <clears throat> this is what I, this is just something that I, I've grown used to doing. No one has to... Uh, uh, that has to uh, harp on me to get to get drawing. Does the spread joy discount still work? Yes, it does. It, we extended it through May because we're still under quarantine. So you can hear uh, Princess Gino in the background here doing her uh, her, um, her wifely <laughs> wifely thing here. That's funny. <clears throat> So you can see we're, we're starting to wrap it up. Let's, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably do a few more things added onto this here. Uh, <clears throat> but for right now, for the purposes of, uh, of uh, holding the attention of a very um, hard to keep attention of crowd here. Let's go into, uh, <clears throat> into the swimsuit area now. I like these little areas like this where I can uh, self-focus things. <clears throat> and you just do that by simply dragging a wet brush over a watercolor and thereby getting uh, a Barry, soft area. Barry says, did you decide on the Star Trek episode? No, I haven't decided on the Star Trek episode. I, I, I don't, I, offhand, I can't think of a darn one. But I can tell you that whatever it would be would be in the first season, okay? So Tom Campbell says, missed most of that one. That looks beautiful. Big hello from Madison. Oh, cool. My hometown here. Madison, Wisconsin, where I was born. Where the humble dude was born all those many years ago. You see the, the charm of watercolor. This is really where... Uh, uh, this stuff comes alive right here, and um, it's just a beautiful medium. If you if you uh, if you want a way to if you can find a way to control it right. So we're almost done wrapping up Rita here. I think the last thing I'm going to do. Um, another question. Are there any decent watercolor pens you recommend? Watercolor pens. Uh, I don't really, you know, I'm, I'm a traditional brush kind of a guy. So when someone asks me about watercolor pens, um, 
I can't see. I um, really know what they're talking about. Uh, last thing is going to be a little bit of reinforcement here on the legs. So when you go dark like that, <clears throat> and it's a little too dark, you just kind of uh, soak it up with your brush right here, and that'll dilute the intensity of the color. So there's, um, there's my best shot at, uh, at a very fast uh, watercolor of, uh, of Rita Hayworth, lovely actress from the 1950s. For the guy that's going to be getting this sketch, um, uh, which we're going to be giving away in just a moment here, um, 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 I forgot what I was going to say. That's what you, that's what happens when you get an artist in, in mid-stroke right here. He'll sound like he's uh, bereft of his senses. Oh, I'll be adding, I know what I was going to say. I'm probably going to be adding a few extra little touches right here just to, uh, just to make sure it's, uh, it's worthy of having my name on it. So that's what I was going to say right there. So here's lo lovely Rita Hayworth, and I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration. It is time for... Flowheart, do you want to give the call of the bugle here? <laughs> she looks pretty comfortable down there. Your feet. Uh, it is time for uh, our beagle, the intrepid uh, Chloe the Flowheart, to give this lucky picture away to some lucky fan uh, who has been uh, very supportive of, uh, of the rude cause. during these times of incredible stress. Um, so let's, uh, let's sign our name to it. Chloe, are you going to be prepared here to uh, do the honors here? <clears throat> oh, let's see. Two thousand twenty. And there you go. So the last few comments were, uh, I think you were going to say this one's going to Riven. Absolutely beautiful. Hello from Dallas. Uh, more and more Encore, Encore Bravo and Milk Biscuit. Milk? You mean a milk bone? <laughs> and that's from Barry. <clears throat> Are you sure you're done? Is an artist ever really done? No. Just ask Janelli. That answer would be uh, an emphatic no. Yeah. But the next live stream starts in 20 minutes, so <coughs> let's do this strong. Okay, so this is uh, this is Rita right here. This is Rita finished. Even with her uh, her blue eyes. Okay, there we go. That's done. <clears throat> and time for the drawing. We're going to be drawing from <clears throat> the bucket here, the bucket list for the drawing. Chloe, <clears throat> um, you want to come over here and uh, come over here. Chloe, come. Okay. Come on. Chloe's getting old. Always a hound dog, so she moves kind of slow these days. Okay, can you sit for oh, daddy? she's eight. Okay, shake. Shake. Good, Chloe. Okay, you pick one out of here, okay? Reach deep inside and pick, okay? Otherwise, daddy's going to do it for you, is okay? Let's see. <clears throat> okay, the lucky winner, according to uh, Flo Hart's uh, pointed instincts, is... Um, I'm trying to pronounce this last name here. This is the problem that all, that all DJs have. Her first name is Michelle, and it's uh, Jean Ferrari. I believe we have a, a foreign a foreign fan here that's, that's gonna, uh, that Rita's going to go to. So, Michelle, uh, uh, wherever you're from, um, we do have your address because you're wrote in. 
and this drawing, this painting, this watercolor painting of Rita Hayworth is going to you, so congratulations. Um, we have one more podcast, uh, live podcast coming up here at four o'clock, and uh, let's see how I'm gonna hold up after, after doing uh, these drawings for all day. Uh, they're actually a lot of fun, and I really appreciate uh, the stellar uh, backing that we have from the people that have supported us after all these years. We have incredible new stuff coming off. We have the new Nexus material coming off. We have <clears throat> the, uh, the new sketchbook for, from uh, 2020 coming off. And uh, Princess Gino, is there anything else that we want to mention to the fans that might be uh, of interest to them? Uh, no, just a shortcut to the free comic book day stuff. <clears throat> well, this is, uh, I'm told this is important right here by people that know about these things. Yeah, FBDC 2020 is how you get to the free comic book day stuff. And the forward slash Kickstarter is how you get to the preview of our Kickstarter. You can uh, view the preview, give comments, make suggestions, and um, put your name or click to um, be reminded when it starts next week. See, this is why artists get married here, because all the things I know nothing about, your wife better know. So there we go, Michelle, congratulations again. There's your portrait, a watercolor portrait of Rita Hayworth, and we'll see you in the funny papers in about a half hour at four o'clock for the final broadcast of the day. Be sure to order before midnight, and uh, the drawing will be hopefully going to you. Take care.